Hey guys, welcome back to the show. So, um, today I want to talk to you about, um, the helps the fact that Disney, um, could make a, um, well, should make, um, a Darth Vader TV series. Now, I have well of book online for some research into um the Darth Vader and see if if things has been said or whether it's been poor or not you should tell that um Lucasfilm could do or think about doing a Darth Vader movie. But I would probably prefer a TV series rather than a movie. Um, and the reason why I say TV series is in light of what's happened with the Acolyte and how just it Divided the fandom, let's be honest. It is quite divided the fandom, and we need something that probably won't divide the fandom, and is actually something that people can actually go and read. They actually got stuff to reference, reference, um, to what's actually happening. So, for example, there are three books in the Dar in the Dar Fane series. That and the first book is um the path of destruction, the rule of two, and the dynasty of evil. And I personally think that they could very much easily make those into um a good chunk T V um series. A mo a movie could because my, my, most movies go for about two hours. Whereas with a TV series, you you've got a bit more length. You can make ep, you can make each episode forty forty minutes long. So you can actually let me let me do um for. You know, eight, nine episodes of that series, you can actually get a fair chunk of the Darth, of each book, um, story, like, told in the TV series. Now, for those of you who don't know who Darth Bane is, Darth Bane was the Dark War of the Sith, um, who created the rule of two after he destroyed the Brotherhood of Darkness under Lord Khan. And Lord Khan was um a Dark Lord who kind of unified the Sith, um, and Darth Bane saw it as a weakness, and he, and the reason why I didn't tell him the Darth Bane series at some point, because it actually kind of ties into episode one, because it, it, at Qui-Gon's funeral, we get the quote from Yoda saying, Always to the are. No more, no less. A master 
and the princess. And I think since people have been saying it like the acolyte doesn't don't really tell much of the story and it kind of don't, um, like, um, like, turn into, like, turn into any, or not turn it, tie into anything to, in like, the movie franchise and stuff. These books, if you turn these books into TV series, they actually will, they will actually help some fans understand probably the rules to a lot better and how the the fruition of Darth Bane's long term long term plan to destroy the Jedi came into fruition in Revenge of the Sith. Because really Revenge of the Sith is actually Pretty much, Darth Bane is pretty much coming out of the Darth Bane series. Revenge of the Sith is from Dar- Darth Bane, Darth Bane sta- starting the whole Wars 2 and slowly over the, over the centuries just building up to destroy the Jedi. But, and, and I think it's important to kind of, and it will probably um, help some to kind of understand um, Dooku and what uh, Dooku and Dooku's kind of death a bit more as well because um, Well, whilst Dooku did have a Darth title as Darth Tyrannus, he actually didn't lose it. He actually used his own name, Count, which kind of, which kind of shows why he probably kind of did it by into it or even respect the rule of two. So I think it's important for fans to kind of like understand the rules too, so they can probably understand the movies probably a bit more in terms of like the prequels, like episode one, two, and three. So that's one, and I also think that the fans will actually get something out of having the Darth Bane series rather than having the Acolyte series what what was I I do like it when I looked a bit more into it it kinda of contradicted um episode one in a way in terms of Anakin. So at least with Darth Bane They've got books there to use as a reference rather than them having to, rather than, you know, actually having to make something up. And I think that's kind of where Lucasfilm has kind of gone a bit pear shaped in the fact that they, if it, if they're stuck on what to make to have in um to put on Disney Plus, go back to the books. Go back. Go, if you want to explore the the timeline before episode one, that's fine. That's cool. Go go go. You know, like go go for it. Absolutely, like, go like go for it. But at least give the fans something to reference. Give them 
characters to reference. And even so, I even, I even was a Darth Bane was even referenced in the Clone Wars. Um, when Yoda went to Morbin, um, when Qui-Gon came to him, um, kind of like as a force, not necessarily as a force ghost, but as a voice through the force. And he helped, you know, do like, you know, like discover, like discover Dagobah and that, and that sort of stuff. And we do see, um, that Yoda does know who Darth Bane is. And he is the, and is the creator of the Lord too. So if we get have a series like that, that actually explains something that's actually got to do with the actual trip of, like, the um the sequel trilogy and the Clone Wars, I think that was fantastic. So what like I said once again, it also gives the fans something to um reference of the books. If you haven't actually read the Darth Bay books, I recommend that you do or even listen or even listen to it on all on um Audible. I, I can have listen to all three books on Audible. So yeah, if you if you are interested in um in finding out who Darth Bane actually is, um and understanding the Lord too a little bit more, go and read the books. Just I'll put the um link to the, in the description to um, the book um, for Audible um, on Amazon, for Audible's to Amazon. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got for this video this week, guys. I just thought that, yeah, this is just kind of one, one, I mean, my ideas that I kind of have, um, that I that I thought about, um, since the acolytes come out, that they can, that if they, that they could, by the yeah, make up characters that they seduced existing characters, but in books, there's, I have. I actually have a fair number of books in in my book collection as well as on Audible. And yeah, there, there's hundreds of books and hundreds of stories that I could tell and I could put on tradition. So I, don't, I just don't think that making up characters like nobody ever heard of it. Nobody's got a reference to um yeah, that's that's my thing. Um let me know there um in the comments if you have read the Dark Plane books or if you wanna read them, like I said um the link to Amazon for the first um, book which is Path of Destruction. Um, I'll put that in the comments so you guys can check that out and see what you think. Um, like I said, I do recommend um, either reading them or listening to them. I actually got put on to it um, through one of my support workers a long time ago um, and he and we and he did be a um, Star Wars fan himself, so he, um, yeah, 
he put me onto it and we had a pretty good conversation about it. So, yeah, let me know. Have a look for yourself, make up your mind, and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay, stay safe, guys. See ya.